Welcome back to the show. We already told you earlier that we're going to be bringing a rapper. I would prefer to call him a rap legend. Uh, Seven-time winner of the Lyricist Award of the Year of the Headies. And uh, he has done so well. He's had great songs like Superhuman, where he featured the African Jama American Jamaican um, rapper, Cannabis. And also, he's of Oshun origin. He's no other person but Mode 9. Hello, Mode 9. Lovely picture, by the way. <laughs> Thank you so much. Meanwhile, that picture is more than 10 years old. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm great. Okay. So I, 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 hope, I hope you're well. You had a good day? Ah, blessed day, blessed. Okay, good. So everybody is wondering, where is Mode 9 right now? What happened? We can't find him anymore. Nah. That's not true. Okay. <laughs> That's not true. Okay, so tell me. They know where to get me. They know where to get you. Yeah. Okay. Since your uh, your your song with Cannabis in 2014, um, we've not really had uh, major songs from you. I hope you have some good things cooking. <laughs> Don't laugh. Don't laugh. Answer <laughs> me. Don't do that. Uh, no way. I think you, you must have been sleeping for five years. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> because I put out an album. Okay. In 2016. True. I put out an album in 2017. Mm. I put out another one in 2000. Okay. 2016, I put out one. Mm. 2018, I put out one. Okay. And 2019, I put out one. Okay, good. The reason why I asked that question was, there's been this talk about hit tracks and all that comes with it. Now, now music, is, music is music. Music is universal. Don't worry about the hit tracks. Okay. So why did you choose to stick to uh -oh. hardcore rap? Bro. Hello, Mode 9. Yeah, hi. Okay. So now, the reason why I asked you the question earlier, um, you mentioned music is music. But, you know, there's always been that thing about raving right now concerning commercial, the commercial value of music. And you seem to be one of the people that has stuck to your niche of the craft. Why is that? Because I was brought to earth to do what I do. Okay. And I'm not going to stop doing what I do. It's like telling Bob Marley to start singing juju music. It's like telling... Uh, who's Springsteen to start doing reggae? Okay. Speaking in Patwa. Like, I do what I do. I don't care about any trend, any whatever. I just do what I do because this this uh, this form of music that I do, it is still it is still listened to and loved all over the world. Okay. I went to watch on uh, December fifth. I went to watch. Master Ace. I don't I doubt if you know who that is. I do. Same way I know about KRS one. Trust me. <laughs> okay. Name one song, Master Ace. Put out. <laughs> I can't name a recent song. Don't put me there on the spot go. mode nine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The thing is this. I understand the way music is. I'm not, like I'm not uh, angry or bitter about anything. I just make my music for my fans. It's, mm. It's gotten to that stage without all the politics in the industry or anything. I just make my albums, put it out, shoot my videos, and put them on YouTube. You know, sometimes when I send videos, I'm not going to go into that. Okay. Because I, I'm not doing this interview to drag anybody down or make anybody look bad. But I won't lie, radio showed me a, a lot of love. If all the artists okay. complain that radio didn't show them love, I won't be there because okay. radio actually plays, plays, and they still play my music. True. Yeah, they still play my music. And they, they, uh, most of the guys that play my music, they never ask for anything. Okay. So now I'm, I can I'm testify. good. I'm really glad you said that. Now, looking at the kind of music that you do and what the Modine brand is about, how well yes. is hardcore rap still accepted all over Africa and the world in your view 
with the stance of you being it's, in the UK right now? It's not hardcore rap. Okay. It's just hip hop. Okay. Yeah. Lyrical, more lyrical. You know, golden era lyrical hip hop. Okay. Yeah, you can call it that. Now, when you won the Lyricist of the Year Award seven times in a row, um, the Headies Award, everybody kept asking one question. Is it that no other person can do it like Mode 9? Now, I want to ask you that question. Did you ever think that no other person could do it like you? And that's why you kept winning year after year, um, seven times in a row. You know what? I, ne I never gave that a thought. I just do music. Okay. I just record what I record and put it out. And that's it. Good. Now, speaking still about hip hop, these days we don't, a lot of people have challenged the stance of hip hop, looking at the Nigerian community, for example, Nigerian industry and the African industry at large. How can hip hop be used as a tool to better society, in your view? It's already a tool. There's a song Iblis put out. I can't really remember the title of the song, but he put it out and the video was on, on YouTube and Instagram. And he was talking about the ill, the society. Listening to that song made me understand what's happening in Nigeria at that moment. So we have a lot of rappers still representing. People just turn to, they just choose to turn a deaf ear to, to someone who's making sense. Okay. They just want to dance. Okay. So what, what, in your opinion right now, what are the issues the Nigerian industry has when it comes to hip-hop, in your opinion, as one who has been in the business for over 20 years? There are certain people that just want people to be drones. Mm. They just want them to dance. Okay. They don't want them to listen. So what they do is that they downplay people who are making sense. Wow. But you see, the funny thing is, there's some people that are making sense, right? And their music goes, you know, it, they make popular music, but you see, people tend to not listen to what they're saying, mm. and they just dance to the beat. Okay. They don't care about, like, the truth is, the way the industry has promoted music is that they've promoted it in a way that people don't really care about what the artist is saying. Okay. They just want to dance. It's, it's like, look at my hit, and then a lot of music that people like is, hey, look at my attain, look at my car. Money, 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 Hennessy, Moe in the club. You can't really, like, in a country that they, they support and worship scammers, scammers who we, we we know who are crooks. Mm. They go on social media and flaunt jewelry, watches, cars, and other people, and they do giveaways. Okay. How are you going to fight the people doing giveaways? <laughs> <laughs> they okay. do giveaways, man. They okay. give people money. So these people will definitely be on their side. Okay, now, I'm happy you mentioned this. Looking at what you just said about, you know, the music industry, when you still had the great hint that your presence was still, which is still being felt, by the way, your presence is still very well being felt in the Nigerian industry. I remember when uh, people like you, the tribesmen, you know, and Two Shots still did hip hop, rap, uh, Teddy, Terry nah, the Rap two Man. Shot, two Shots was. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good. Nice. That's um, Terry, right. Terry, <laughs> you're not nice. Shout out to William. Shout and I'm going to him. hope that he forgives you for that statement. Now, Terry the rap man yourself. Is my boy. <laughs> no, is my boy. I just spoke the truth. Okay, good. I'm not going to die. Oh, good. It's now. The truth. He was doing comedy rap. He, I can quote one of the lyrics. He said, no ball had ball. <laughs> he said that now. More than him. Don't do that. Now listen to my question. <laughs> In those times, tribesmen yourself, Terry the Rap Man, you know, and the others, suspect, you people, Eobliz, you did music and you had messages in them. They all do it. 
Yes, you did music and you had messages in them and you actually informed the youth. Now, don't you think the giveaways and things you're complaining about that, you know, the, the, the musicians are turning the heart of the people to is because the musicians themselves are not doing music to turn the heart of the okay. youth aright. Don't you think it's an issue of music as an instrument being used the right way by those doing music? Let me, let me tell you one thing. Mm. Right now in Nigeria, they are stealing people's pants. Do you know why? Why? Because they want to make money. They want to do rituals to make money. It's all about money right now. Let, okay. Let's not lie. All right, but not... All right, Mode Nine. I think we're going to it's have you hot. have to let it's you go. Hot. Can you hear me, Mode Nine? Yeah, oh. I can hear you. Okay, good. I, I'm sorry we, we we're running out of time, and then I'm going to have to let you go. Uh, but it was great happy. speaking with you today. Yeah. And I hope we get to do this more, so we can talk more about this. But how can people follow you on social media? Um, Instagram, actually, right now, I'm only messing with Instagram. Okay. Maybe Facebook. Instagram is mode9 underscore polyband. All right. That's M-O-D-E-N-I-N-E -I -I -E underscore P-O-L-I-M-A-F. All right. Thank you yeah, so much, mode9. Beside that. I would speak more. Thank you. All right. Bless you. God bless, bless you, you too. Bandubia. Come, come, come. <laughs> Bye, Mode 9. To enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.